Hey guys, we need to do some animal time today. We gotta go get those ferrets out. Oh, I love the ferrets! Yeah, they're trying to break down the door right over there. They need out real bad. Okay. Okay, let's, let's go. Take. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Oscar. You wanna talk to your friends? Huh? This is Oscar. Say good morning. He's still waking up. And go, go! She's always awake. Well, not really, but she's always ready to go when you get near her. One of my favorite things about the ferrets is that they are so fun loving. They are so silly and goofy. They're just like long, funny sock puppets with great personalities, but they do sleep a ton. You know, we woke Oscar up and they sleep like 14 to 18 hours a day. That sounds so good right now. <laughs> I'm Ferret Beard the Pirate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Kyle, did you forget? Coco can be a dirty, rotten biter. She can be. That's She's right. just a wee kit still, and she has some feistiness to her. She can bite your ear off. Yeah. Yeah. Good girl, Coco. Get him. You're on, man. Ow! You dirty, rotten biter. <laughs> Are you still biting Coco? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Shh. All right. Ferrets have been domesticated for over 2,500 years, and they were bred to help hunt rabbits. Um, they're part of the family called Mustilidae, which is the same family that uh, weasels, black-footed ferrets that are in the wild, and skunks are in. When they're babies, they are actually born. Domesticated ferrets have their scent glands removed, but in the wild, they have scent glands and they can actually spray just like skunks. Ew! Uh, I know, and that's why ferrets are so stinky because they're related to skunks. Um, they can live from seven to 10 years, but I do, we did have a, uh, a ferret that lived almost 12 years. Her name was Lulu. Uh, some of you guys will remember her. She was a really cool white ferret. Yeah, um, rest in peace, Lulu. Yeah, uh, they can have anywhere from like three to seven babies. The females are called, what do we call? Oh, the babies, no, wait, I can't read. Uh, are was, you having trouble I'm reading having trouble it because reading. the ferrets are harassing your notes? They are, yeah, <laughs> they're attacking the notes. The males are called hobs, got that? The, so you would be a hob trying to escape. <laughs> and you would be a jill also trying to escape. The babies are called kits. Ferret babies are called kits. I hope you guys remember that because we may play a game about animal babies. <laughs> so, Jills can weigh from one and a half pounds to three and a half pounds, and Hobbs can weigh from two and a half pounds to five and a half pounds. So boys are substantially larger than girls. You wiggly bunch. And as you can see, they are super rambunctious, and that's why a group of ferrets. <laughs> A group of ferrets is called a busyness, and you can see why, because they are very busy creatures. They sleep 14 to 18 hours a day, so their wake time is super rambunctious. They even have a funny little dance we hope you get to see called the weasel war dance, and they will chuckle at each other when they are doing it. It means they're super excited and they're super playful. They are carnivores, and they eat anything that's little and running, but their favorite is prairie dogs. And their shape makes them unique for hunting, and that's part of why they were domesticated, is that they people hunt rabbit with them, and they send them down the hole, and the rabbit can not escape their, their car big carnivorous teeth. See, you know, big carnivorous teeth, yeah. And then the ferret has a unique ability to turn around in that hole and come out. Wah! You guys are crazy!
Uh oh, we're gonna lose her through the fence. Go, go, go. What you doing in there? Coco, where are you going? Yes, me. No, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> Now, biologists thought that wild ferrets, the black-footed ferret, had been extinct since 1931. But in 1981, they did find some in the wild and they captured and tagged them and started a breeding program. Now they are releasing them in Arizona, Colorado, and Wyoming, among other states, and the ferret population is doing pretty well. The biggest problem with the ferret population in those places, <laughs> come back here. The biggest problem with the breeding program is that it's a very small genetic pool that started with just 18 individual ferrets. And so they're fairly inbred, which makes it difficult to ward off illness and disease. And specifically, their favorite food, prairie dogs, have been, um, having trouble with the bubonic plague of all things. And here we complain about COVID. And the bubonic plague in prairie dogs has caused a high incidence of death in the ferrets as well. So, <laughs> what do you think, Coco? <laughs> Silly girl. And so, while the breeding program is very successful, they do still have to do lots of vaccinations to keep a healthy population. And they need volunteers. You'll see in the comments below, I have put a website where the Arizona Department of Fish and Wildlife needs volunteers to go ferret spotting at night. And if your family needs a good family, uh, a good COVID friendly activity, you might check this out and see if they have a date coming up to go spot ferrets in the middle of the night and you can help count the number of ferrets in Flagstaff. The bucket! It's alive! Oh, it's just Coco! Silly Coco! Oh, Mr. Kyle, you know you cannot get any sweeping done with Coco out. <laughs> so funny enough, ferrets' uh, names means, oh my gosh, mischief, what is it, mischievous or mischievous? Oh, mischievous? little thief. Little thief. Yeah, because they like to, small, to steal small trinkets and bury them away places. Oh, it's all right. Goofy ferrets. Ah. Get it, Coco. Okay. 
<laughs> well, we were supposed to put the ferrets away, but the ferrets decided that it's still ferret time. But it is <laughs> Chores are so effective with a ferret to help. Ah, oh, she's mop skiing. Oh, and now she's gone. Bye, Coco. <laughs> wow, Mr. Kyle, this has got to be one of our most disorganized videos ever. Oh, it yeah. is really hard to film and talk with a couple of really silly ferrets stealing the show. Yeah, nipping at your toes while you're trying to remember if ferret babies are hobs or kits and if females are Jill. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, but they're a lot of fun. But the ferrets have been missing you guys and when you come back, they'll be here waiting. Bye. Bye.